doesn't need to be open, so. Close out that laptop for now. Okay. We're gonna check real fast to make sure everything sounds good. One second. Sounds good. Sounds and looks good. So let's go ahead and load up the game. We were one warp room done, so... Tomb time, my bad, I lied. Let me pull up the timetables. Okay. Spin the snake. Get rid of the wampas. Tomb time. Okay. The platinum time is fifty three ninety. I think I will yes last time I did this I was really close. I think I came within a minute of getting it. So, just go ahead and try here. Oh, we're definitely not getting it. <laughs> I totally missed the button. Okay, try again. Oh, I wasn't even sure I hit the clock. Whoops. That's my bad. This is supposed to be one of the harder ones in the game, so please bear with me here. No idea why it's pulling like that. quicker than just running. That's quicker than doing the slide across. Ah, oh, you can't lose the mask. You absolutely have to have it for that final part, sadly. So if you mid lose it, you have to restart the entire thing.
actually don't have to kill him, but the reason you need the mask is because it stops the doors from closing on you. Hi! Missed the button. If I could have hit the button there, I could have easily made both platforms. Would have been a really good time. Or a really close time, I should say. I think this is probably it. chance of getting it this time. Thought I was in a sliding game, luckily I didn't. It's really hard to get them boxes too, all in one motion. Nah, I didn't get it. You pretty much can't hold up on that point. If you have to hold up on that second platform there, you just don't get it. On the plus side, you just don't lose lives on the time trial, so... Let's go. Should be right. slide across. You want to try to get it with, I think, as much distance as you possibly can. You want to cut it as close as you can. Should be the right side. Okay. Mr. Uh, Crocodile there has a quite a bit more priority than I thought there on that one. The clock gives you a little bit, uh, or the cannon start can give you a little bit of extra time. It's so hard to control after not playing for a week. Yeah, that's bad. It takes a minute to get used to the controls after not playing for a week. <laughs> slide there a little bit quicker. Like just trying to get him to stay straight on the path is like really hard. Cause I wanna barely move to the right or to the left and he just full on takes off that way. Oh well, it's fine. Right different right here. Croc's positioning isn't random. You can actually time it. It doesn't like it starts back here, but quick enough you can actually make it so it pa patterns the same way every time. So it should be right again. Yeah. It's just making sure you get everything in one go. If you mess it up at all, he patterns to the other side. He should be right again. I might have to just go from the left then if I'm gonna do it like that. I want to try to hug the wall to get quicker times on the corners, but it's not really quicker if the crocodile keeps killing me, right? Are you serious? I must not have been fast enough on getting those boxes down. Either that or I was too fast on the uh, clock activation. Should be fine. Should be right. Wait, what? <laughs> Shoot. I got. It's been a minute since I've done the gem, so I don't remember. What stage was the red gem? I'll know the stage name if you put it in chat. The 105, yeah. It's... 
I want to say, what, it's collecting everything, right? Including Platinums. Ah, oh, I fucked up. Prehistoric level. Oh, I think I know which one you're... Yeah, okay, it's the first prehistoric level, isn't it? I don't, yeah, I don't know actually if that affects levels or not, because I know in the demo it did. Such a good run, don't double jump. Oh, he double jumped. Oh, that's bad. I'm lagging. No, oh, I'm lagging. I'm playing on AMU, so. He likes to lag out sometimes. I actually waste those couple seconds there spinning. I messed up. I'm, I'm not gonna have time to get to the end of the level before this runs out. Unless I'm really lucky. I have to have an insane pattern on this thing right here and I'm not gonna get it. Nope. That's it. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about now. Because it was the uh, gem I kept accidentally running into when I would, was doing the time trial for that stage because it's on the inner part of the corridor. And if you barely graze it, it automatically sucks you up into the gem path. There's no way to get off of it. I'm like Crash 2 where you can actually choose. I'm dead. I remember this one being a pain. The rest of them shouldn't be that bad. It's just getting my bearings with this emulator again. Because it doesn't like to read 8-way pathing very well. So if you like hold left or right, barely hold left or right while holding forward, you just like shoot straight to the right or straight to the left. Not fun. Not very fun. It's definitely better on D-pad. But unfortunately, the plug and play features on the PS4 controller don't have D-pad support. <laughs> Please. You want to come out of the, those slides like the last possible frame. That's how you get a good time on those. There we go. That's a really good pattern to get. I just run straight to the end. Okay, you have to double jump there. You can't not double jump. <laughs> yeah, Crash 3 can be pretty rough. I definitely enjoy it more than Crash like Crash 2 to a degree. It plays a lot better than the first game too, so... In comparison. I don't know. It's always had a place in my heart. It seems like such a huge step up from Crash 2. And Crash 2 was, like I said, a major step up from Crash 1, so. Would be cool to see Naughty Dog get the IP back so they could make more games. But I don't think Activision will ever give them the, the rights back, sadly. This croc, dude, I swear, he has it out for me. He's switching sides. Never want to do the double jump there either. It's actually way slower. I'm dead. Nope, never mind. We're good. Nope, died. Damn. Close. I thought I like died on the initial jump over to that platform, but I managed to recover and then I ended up clipping the wall. <laughs> I'm definitely excited for the remaster on the PS4 in June. Time 